today we're going to look at LV2 and we're going to create some Yahoo Answers Level 2 accounts. So in the account tab I've got the uh, asking accounts loaded up here. Uh, you probably don't need this many but I had that many lying around on my hard drive. And on the right hand side I've got some answering accounts loaded up. I've put 11 in just in case there's a problem. I'm, a I'm actually after finishing up with 10 level 2 accounts uh, but I've put one in there for good luck just in case we lose one or there's some problem. The settings below are, are pretty uh, standard. I've reduced the timeout time to 60. I've got my proxies loaded into Proxy Manager. There's a separate video tutorial for using Proxy Manager. You do need proxies for this to work well. An inv interval time is one second. Uh, it doesn't need to be any longer than that because the browser will be getting a new proxy every time it does something different courtesy of proxy manager and uh, we're going to save real time and also get questions and answer all real time so now uh, further down the accounts when they've reached a certain amount of points which is normally 250 for level 2 they'll be moved into this that section there and similarly if they've answered a certain amount of questions uh, normally about 15 or 16, they'll be moved down into this box at the bottom. Um, personally, uh, I, I prefer to keep my accounts at the top here uh, because it just gives me a little bit more control. It's just a personal preference. That's why I've set the settings so high at 1,050 so that I keep the accounts in the top. Now looking at the questions, here are the, if you've got uh, LV2, um, the light version, uh, the, you need to write your own questions and you can use them, write them using the uh, recognized spin tax which many spinners use. So here we've got the title, how to, what is the best way to lose weight? Uh, please tell me, advise me how to or the way to lose weight or some pounds and the very helpful answer, eat less food or consume a reduced amount of meals. and. The software will choose uh, a combination of those answers. I wouldn't do any more than five for each question because they are, even though we're spinning, they are all going to be essentially the same question and the same answer. And you could end up in get, getting your accounts reported and losing your accounts or just not getting very many answers. And you need a certain amount of answers to be able to choose the best answer. So I would say no more than five for each question that you've written. So we've created those, um, and there they all are in the in the questions box, uh, ready to go, all spun, all with different uh, uh, questions and uh, synonyms, but essentially the same question, which is why really you can't uh, you can't use more than four or five for each question. So if you're going for ten, uh, you need to. Um, maybe write about 30 or 40 questions and spin about four or five of them. So let's get rid of those now by pressing the clear button. Um, we're going to use the elite version to get questions. So that's the auto get questions button. Uh, we're trying to get uh, about 15 quenched questions and a few more answered for the accounts that we've got just to make sure we get 250 points. So I'll put 200 in there. Uh, the timeout, that doesn't need to be that long. I'll drop it to 60. Uh, we'll get a random answer, that's fine. And all I need to do is click Go. And once I've clicked Go, the software is then going to go to Yahoo Answers and use our uh, very clever algorithm to get the amount of questions that we've entered. And you're always going to get uh, different questions and answers each time. So you just saw there the uh, the proxy login that uh, LV2 is getting from Proxy Manager. It's now searching the questions, it's using our algorithm to get a uh, different set of questions and answers each time you use it. And there's the first question appearing. They will carry on appearing in the box there <coughs> as, uh, as LV2 gets the questions and answers. So once we've got a few there we can start to answer. You can do them separately, post a question, all the questions first, then answer them first, and then select the best answer. 
um, which is quite handy if you if you haven't got many proxies. Um, but really, um, I, I just do the whole lot all at the same time. Uh, you can see we've got uh, seven questions there now. Uh, best answer I'm putting to start looking for the best answer after about 300 minutes, five hours. Uh, we don't want it checking for best answer too quickly because it just slows up the um, the an answering, asking and answering process. So there we are, we're in debug mode which means we can see the browser when we go and I'm going to post questions and answer and select the best answer all as part of one process. So there we've got started the browser will open in a minute and it'll start uh, posting the questions as the browser opening and what I'm going to do is pause the video <coughs> and we'll see um, we'll come back later when it's uh, answered posted a few questions and answered a few so here we are now uh, you can see we've got 35 I'll just wait for the uh, proxy to load and minimize that we've got 35 questions there we've we've uh, answered 85 and we've already chosen 36 uh, as best answer and now having paused the video again uh, we've got 47 questions left to ask and we've already got 102 best answers selected so we're a few hours down the line now with this process and now you can see having paused again the process is finished we've got 147 best answers chosen um, obviously we lost a few questions on the way that happens sometimes but that's okay there's plenty we asked plenty and you can see the points there for the accounts we've got one here that's uh, only got 100 points maybe there's a problem with that account so I'll just I'll delete that which gives us the 10 accounts that I went for originally now these uh, points are what LV2 assigns to these accounts in good faith after having asked the question and having been chosen as best answer. They're not necessarily the real points because in the real world sometimes quest some questions get deleted. So I, I think it's best just to, to actually go into these accounts and check the points. It's only a 10 minute job. Um, you can see it's answered all load, they've all answered lots of questions they should have lots of points but I just think it's worth checking the points and it's a similar procedure just goes in checks the points and then we'll come back when it's uh, when it's done them all there it is finished uh, that took about 10 minutes um, I'll just click OK to that and you can see the the point there's are the real points having logged into the accounts they're all way over uh, level two uh, requirements and ready to go <coughs> but uh, there's just one more thing I would do with these and that's uh, I've uh, loaded them into the change photo section I just think it looks good if you can get a um, actually the software doesn't change the photo it changes the Yahoo avatar um, it just makes the account look more realistic, more believable, more credible, and it's less likely to get your accounts banned um, when you're posting clickable URLs all over the place. Controls are pretty pretty uh, self-explanatory. I've chosen female here. So I'll just begin to change the photo, and we'll come back in a minute and have a look. Okay, that took about half an hour. Um, it's done seven. Uh, I don't know what happened to the other three, but we'll put um, a loop function in there so that in future it will go back to uh, do any that it's missed for any reason. Maybe there was a couple of dread proxies or something. I don't really know. But anyway, we'll choose this first one, Angie, Angie Wofford, and just have a look because I've logged her in here. Look, there you are. She's got 362 points, and there's her avatar there, and it looks very convincing. So that's it for LV2. Hope uh, you enjoyed that and you can see how very easy it is to use. Thank you very much for watching.